You happy, Tom? Aye. Hello! <laughs> we <Wee> man! <laughs> what does resilience mean to you? Today we are joined by Ross Edgley. He will be swimming the waters of Loch Ness non-stop. Luckily he has agreed to give us an insight on his training and diet. What better place to start than the Stoltman Strength Centre? It is Saturday, we are back in the gym. We have got a very special guest. He's bonkers. He is doing some extreme swimming up here in the Highlands. He is Mr. Ross Edgley. Do you ever use um, like medicine ball slams? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> It's been so cool. So to actually come down here, thank you so much for the Thanks invite. Thanks for coming down, man. It's, uh, just glad we can finally get the the diaries to work. It's just, uh, he's just getting the stuff. We'll introduce him in a little minute. But we're gonna have a day with Ross, swimming, eating, training, mindset stuff. It's really excited. I felt good about myself. I'm 95 kilos. This is big for me. Yeah. What are you weighing in about? I'm only about one. 80 is just hitting 180 right now. That's only 180. Only 180. <laughs> You're slim now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> one oh, what are you weighing? Uh, I'm 160. So normally comp weight, I'm 170. So uh, oh. yeah, just small boys right now. <laughs> <laughs> Exceptionally skinny. I mean, we're shredded. Wait till we take the tops off. <laughs> this is my Atlas Stone. Feels pretty good. Top <laughs> 500. I was feeling pretty good about myself before I arrived here. <laughs> Tom and Luke are not good for my ego. <laughs> So my son and Luke are going to be doing a squat session. Ross is doing something unbelievable up here in the Highlands in the next week or so, which is pretty bonkers. So he's going to do his swimming, prehab, whatever it is, some stretching mobility, and we're going to do some legs. So yeah, and then we're going to get some big, massive munch and then go and learn how to swim for the day. You know how to swim already? No comment. I know how to like put, do this and yeah, I'm like a whale in the water. So watch this. This probably looks very odd to a lot of people and it's so swim specific. So if you can imagine, a lot of the stuff that I do in the gym almost replicates the forces that you'll use during the swim stroke. So you imagine there that propulsion phase and also building that sort of bulletproof shoulders, that strength prehab. So what we're essentially doing here, medicine ball throw, concentric contraction where the muscles in contraction but shortening and then you're catching it as well there. So you're essentially, it's called not to get too complicated, it's kind of rooted in mechanotransduction and that means that like when you're strength training a lot of people think you make your muscles stronger which you do but also it's looking at other structures the bones ligaments tendons so by catching the ball through that eccentric contraction you're basically saying to your shoulder joint tolerate these sorts of forces so then when you get and you're swimming in the sea you're still able to cope with it I hope that makes sense that was a long-winded answer to what are you doing Russ <laughs> Look, your turn, mate. No, I wish I would It's good, half eight in the morning training and hitting decent numbers, so all good. It's just nice when you have people with high energy around you. It's good for you mentally, it pushes us physically, and then on the channel as well. It's just really nice to have shared different experiences. Like we went out to Sky yesterday, filmed some intros with Brandon. We got Ross up, we're gonna do a lot of swimming with him today, which is awesome. Something that we, we really want to do is push the channel because having a platform, I think we can do a lot of a lot of good. Hopefully, share some positive positivity throughout the world. Working sets done. I'm just building up my 20 reps just to get a bit of conditioning in. It's up to 127 kilos today, I think it is. So they're yeah, just going to build it up each time. We'll see how it goes. So, guys, as you can see, myself and Luke are doing the compound lifts to help us get stronger and bigger. On the other hand, Ross is doing his rehab stretches and mobility for swimming so he's doing a lot of medicine balls a lot of stretches a lot of fast paced exercises Yeah. How do you feel? It's just not heavy, it's only 
just like 130 kilos for 20 reps, so that, that, just that, building it up, baby. Is that cardio for you? Yeah. <laughs> That's my cardio for the week. Now. <laughs> Squats finished, as you can see. Now we're on to leg press. More volume, three sets of 12 to get some blood flowing around these legs of ours. So not too heavy. Like I said, just 12 nice and easy, steady reps. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, alright mate, how's it going today bye? I'm a big Scotsman. Next up guys, we have the leg press. How many reps can Tom Stoltman, the two, sorry. <laughs> Alright mate! <laughs> Get out your ass and do a set. You, you know you are Scottish. Like, oh, your accent's Scottish. <laughs> so you can just like, speak normal. Slang basically, yeah. No, it's Glaswegian here. Yeah. It's still Scottish, but... Get up and do a life. Just <laughs> say something really Glaswegian and I'll see if I can translate. Fit the boots you fee, man. Fit the boots. Can fit like you do. <laughs> I get. I up. Wayne, they never do this high. Oh, Peter, he. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When I was swimming around, like coming into Peter's head, oh. Fraserburgh, like the wow. hospitality was amazing. Yeah. Like, I was welcome, but I, I just couldn't understand yeah. what people were saying. But they were so sweet. They were like handing me like fish and chips and. <laughs> Here you go, you wee bastard. <laughs> what? And I was like, oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> Rangers, they're going to win, right? Nope. Uh, no, no, there's a high run of Celtic Rangers. No, that's not very good. Cool. No, it's uh, oh. <laughs> Celtic won the last game 9 0. So. Yeah, it's big one. Oh, oh. massive rivalries, folks. I travel home. I'm going to Amsterdam on Tuesday to see them. Oh. I love, I love it. It's my, it's my getaway from man. I travel like it's four hours in the car there and back every every weekend, so wow. sometimes twice a week. And it just gives you that escape. That just, yeah, it gives yeah, you yeah, yeah. Like, like the cold water in the mornings and stuff. And I don't do that kind of stuff. I like it at night because it shuts me down. But yeah. like, my escape is to go to the football. You know, like being mm -hmm. fifty thousand fans just shouting like kids at players. It's cool. Eh? Yeah, yeah. I feel really, I'm just doing my band work. <laughs> it's so nice to find me because to, to watch what you've done yeah. and how you've done it, oh, it's been amazing so, hey, from since, an outsider. Since, back, yeah, man, it's wild. since so 2017 cool. for Strongman, that's when Eddie Hall, when Eddie Hall won that, when it went back on the map. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But even now, it's still... Eddie, Eddie's done really good yeah. things for the sport. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, the, the branding and like, he's won it once and then he's like, I'm winning it once and then that's it. And then he's made a huge career out of it. Yeah, you know, it's, yeah. it's because like he started effectively the same as us, you know. It's, yeah. So that's the blueprint, and then we're trying to put a wee spin on it on yeah. our own, you know, do, yeah. do our own thing. So yeah. it's the so brothers cool. thing that's really unique, you know, like the brothers competing together. Yeah, so, like, yeah. Yeah, big shout to Eddie. Oh, yeah, but you're yeah. still a dickhead. Eddie. <laughs> yeah, <fuck> you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love Eddie. Yeah. When I was at the Royal Marines, what was weird is like your body starts to crave things. So I was like losing so much, you know, sweating electrolytes and salt. So they turned around and was like, Ross, do you want like just a, like a dirty fried chicken? And I was like, oh yeah. So I just put my face in a bucket of that. And it was just weird how like your body tells you things. No one's ever done this. We needed something to, to we, it's kind of really nice and they've got loads of mobility in the shoulder. It pulls you in in certain areas, but the most important feature, um, which I'll show you a little bit later, is it's got a poo flap designed. So starting from a dead stop. Yeah. So after our training, <laughs> Luke, myself and Ross did a challenge on the what bike. Who could burn 10 calories the quickest? Who won? We'll soon find out. One. Oh my god! What was that? I'm good, I've got cocks on some of this. That was not, I've never heard an assault bike make that noise. I don't know if I can see it. <laughs> 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 
I don't know, I'm looking at that in there. I think it was eight. Because you did 12 there, I think it was eight. Whoa. Oh, eight top. That wasn't worth it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, 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 3,000 plus calorie breakfast. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Is that, and, and that's casual for you? Pretty chill, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but when we're in prep for World Strongest Man, it's pretty, a regular occurrence that we do this. Nice! So, yeah, so I'm, okay. excited. I'm starving. Don't know about you, Tom Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Are you hungry, Tom? <laughs> I can't do a Scottish no, I'm not. <laughs> right. I don't know what it is, but it looks amazing. Yeah. That is so after training with Ross Edgley, we all headed to Dalmore Farm, our usual place, to get a big, massive breakfast. So basically, Ross Edgley wanted to come with us to try and bulk up because he is doing this mammoth Loch Ness swim. He's swimming three days, constantly in the water, no sleep, and trying to smash a, a world record. And to do that, I called us in to you know, bulk up, and we started off with a 3,000 calorie meal. Ross was in his element, he was loving it. We were just trying to take him through our day, trying to give him some hits, tips and tricks to put weight on and he was, you know, really fascinated about our diet, what foods we eat, uh, recovery to help with putting mass on, to help with, you know, just building that extra kind of three or four kilograms you can get for the swim because he's going to burn a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, calories and energy when swimming for three days straight. <laughs> for dessert. <laughs> Should we do a super slow motion one? Yeah. Oh, are you slowing it down? <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to. Happy Tom. Aye. You happy Tom? Aye. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Wee man! <laughs> That's all I've got! I sound like Lizzie's downfire! <laughs> yeah. Hello Wee man, how does it feel to be so weak compared to me? <laughs> you little bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not a good Scottish accent? Would they let me in in Scotland? No. <laughs> right. Hello there, wee man! <laughs> <laughs> That's all I've got! <laughs> oh no! Oh, dietary side of the things done, so we just had a massive breakfast with Ross. Big Tommy is away watching the Rangers match, so fingers crossed, Rangers beat Celtic today. We'll leave you in a bad mood, genuinely. He probably won't come. <laughs> Yeah, he'll probably just be like, I'm done. I'm... Or okay. he'll get really drunk. Okay, so. come on Rangers. Come on Rangers, come on. let's go. <laughs> so yeah, we did some training this morning, we ate some food. Um, so we're going to call it here. We've got a little bit later on to do, but stay tuned for the next video. Thank you for watching as always. Stay safe, smile, stay spicy. And please don't forget to ring that little bell. Hello, wee man. <laughs>